Hi everyone, it's Craig here from SLR Booth. Today I want to go over some of the triggering options that are available in the SLR Booth app. If you're using SLR Booth with a touchscreen device like a tablet or an all-in-one, the easiest thing to do is probably just use the touch interface that's built into the app. All your guests have to do is press the big camera icon in the center and the countdown will start. But what if you're using a TV box and an HD TV? Then you don't have a touch interface available to you. In this case, you've got a few other options. First up, you can use one of these Bluetooth camera triggers. Um, they're available online, not very expensive. I think this was about $5. And it's got a handy little button. You just press it, it'll start the countdown. Another option that's maybe a little bit easier for your guests to use is a USB foot pedal. Again, this one I ordered online, it was about $10 or so, and I programmed it to send the spacebar key when it's pressed. So all your guests have to do is step on the pedal and it'll trigger the countdown. Another bit more high-tech option is to use the SLR Booth remote app. This will search for a running SLR Booth instance on your network and connect to it automatically. Once it's connected, all you have to do to start the countdown is to press the button. And while the countdown's running, you can cancel it. And once the photo's been taken, you've got the options to either keep or delete the photo. And then once we're done with the sharing options, we can go back to the beginning. So as you can see, the SLR Booth app supports a number of different triggering options that gives you a lot of flexibility to build the type of photo booth setup that works best for your events. Thanks for watching, everyone.